this is Banana Bunch. It is Sonia who's ready to do some painting again tonight. Meet my guest of honor. We are going to go ahead and say hello to our other friends right now on Facebook as well. Guys, get all this so we can get ready for a good paint project tonight. Hey guys, hey Banana Bunch over there on Facebook. We are broadcasting live right now on YouTube and Facebook. I am just glad no matter where you sit around the world or what couch you're on that you're here no matter YouTube, Facebook, we're just all here, okay? And she is here as well. i got to show you, introduce you to my guest of honor tonight. This is an old record cabinet, probably like we figured like 1940s. And guess what, guys? <coughs> yep, I got it for free. I got it for free. She was dropped off at my shop. And she's been sitting around, and it's time tonight we give her some love. I will say that doing a 30-day paint challenge means that every little piece of furniture and decor that I have tucked away in every nook and cranny in my shop will definitely come out. So I just feel like I'm like spring cleaning only in January. You know what I'm saying? So for those of you who are new around these parts, because boy, we're getting lots of new people join the Banana Bunch. Everybody say a big hello to our friends out there. Give me a hashtag Banana Bunch if you are a proud member of our community. What we do here is, uh, here is I am Sonia. This is my husband, Matt, behind the camera. He's waving over there if you can see him. <laughs> and we are both creatives. He likes to get creative in the kitchen. I'm married a chef. Hello, hello, did I do good or what? And I am a painter, and so on our social media platform, it's kind of like where worlds collide. So tonight, he's behind the camera, and I do my thing with this piece of furniture here, and I'm going to use it for my office. And so I love to repurpose and use things. Who saw me this week on Facebook where I was painting an old, you guys told me what it was, right? I think I paid $5 for a cranberry, what do you call it, scooper thingamabob, wooden thing, where I'm still not positive what it is. But I painted it this week and gave it new life as like a magazine holder or file holder. This is a record cabinet. Anybody out there have still two records? I do love the sound of the records. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and flip it and make use of it for all my file folders and stuff. All right, guys? So the inside right now is pretty hungry thirsty. Somebody's painted it on the outside in a cream color. It's got paint splashed onto it. It's dented. It's dinged. I still love it anyhow. And on the inside, the wood is chipping in all the places. And so I'm not going to paint the inside, but I'm going to go at it with my brown glaze. I want to show you something real quick before we do some shout outs and say hello as everybody's getting in place here. But one of the things that we do have is our glazes, right? And so tonight for the inside of this, this is a great tip. If you guys have some hungry, thirsty wood out there, our glaze is made to go on top of paint. But you can put it on just basically hungry, thirsty wood as well. So here's what I'm going to do for the inside. I'm going to grab one of the rags that we have on our website at jugmonkeypaint.com. And it's just a really nice, tightly woven one. It's the one I also use when we're uh, buffing off wax. And what happens is when you have hungry, thirsty wood, just like this, that is like, oh, please, please make me beautiful. The moment you take it and you rub the glaze on, so we have four glazes. They're water-based, so easy to work with, but you can see it's translucent. And what that means is you can still see through it. So if you have paint under it, guess what? Your glaze is on top of your paint. But if you put it on top of just it, just kind of work it into raw, wood or hungry thirsty wood you know the veneer has been broken on it and you know that's all you have left what i would do is actually put the glaze over the top of it and do you see how you can still see the knot holes you can still see all the wood grain so i use this as just a nice technique if i ever want to refresh up something aka the inside a piece of furniture that just needs some look right so i'm going to get started on that and matt will you tell us who's uh tell me who's with us tonight the car reminds me to know you want to know I want to know, yes, absolutely. All right, let me go here. Okay. So, uh, big shout out to everybody on YouTube. Actually, we just hit a milestone about 10 seconds ago. Yeah. Uh, people have watched us on YouTube. It would have, it equals 100 days of viewing time of people watching us on YouTube. People watching us 100 days straight. Yeah, so people wasted 100 days <laughs> watching us. <laughs> or gained lots of Right. Yeah, there you go. So, anyways, so uh, lots of people are checking in. They're, they're, it's coming in hot and heavy and very fast. So, I'm going to drop in what's coming. So, anybody posted earlier, hello. But uh, I'm jumping right in with uh, Lynch checking in, Lynn McDonald, Linda Linda's coming in, Linda Linda again, Candace Myers checking in from Oklahoma. <clears throat> Lisa's checking in from Montreal. I believe she's in Montreal. Lisa Doyle? Yeah. 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 Tammy's Montreal. checking in from Arizona. Terry Ferguson's back for day three over on Facebook. Uh, Nancy's uh, Zikafoos is checking in from West Virginia, the Mountain State. Uh, Jim McCauley's checking in from Canada. Uh, 
Deb, Deb, Massachusetts. Uh, wow, these are like popping through really quick. Vicky said, from Iowa, we need a store by Davenport. <laughs> Tell your friends. Tell them to go to jumpmonkeypay.com, click find a, or uh, become a retailer because right. we would love your help. We just started launching our product. Of course, you can get it from our website 24 7. We ship it all over the U.S. Mm -hmm. Our milk paint goes into Canada currently. Mm -hmm. um, but if you know somebody in your area, as we start now to go ahead and create partnerships with people, mm -hmm. and you want your person to be the Junk Monkey Outlet, let them know. Yep. Lynch checking in from Colorado. Barbara okay. from Austin. Uh, Kelly Gailey, uh, Kelly, congratulations on your nuptials. I didn't get to, I don't think I'd have got to congratulate you when you got married a few Somebody months got back. Somebody married? Yeah, Kelly, Clark, friend of mine. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. congratulations, girl. <laughs> so, Tracy from Bowie, Maryland. Darlene's checking in from Huntsville. Tess is in Trogger. Of course she is. Tess, what are you doing, girl? And Peggy's in upstate. Uh, She's an uptown girl. Deb's checking in from Oklahoma. And, uh, sorry. All right, Ros so Rosalie is checking in from New Jersey. Who, Leslie? Rosalie. Rosalie, sorry. So, anyways. Rosalie, girl. How yeah, are you? Southern New Jersey, one of my favorite places. Nice. Well, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Connie's checking in from Northwest Indiana. Judy's watching from Virginia. Tracy's in Northern Michigan. Are you in? The, are you a Uper? Or are you checking in from Northern Ooh, Michigan? Nice. So, anyways. Guys, uh, I'm gonna put some stripes on here, okay? So I have to tell you real quick. I put some brown, brown glaze on the inside. I just feel like it cleaned it up. But I'm loving how just, it's it's a record cabinet. You know, it's an old one. And I love all the use that's inside of it. I'm going to keep that, of course, that shabby distressed look. It's perfect. You know, think about it as painters, how we try to achieve shabby distressed, time-worn look, uh, looks. And um, I'm going to keep it. Just as that, I think it's beautiful. In this case, I'm going to keep the brownie, brownie interior. I just jazzed it up with a light layer of um, brown glaze, which makes me feel like I really freshened it up and just cleaned it up, which is really nice. Now the outside of this has got like this cream cup color on it, okay? It's like a dirty kind of cream color, but I will tell you that sometimes I make use of a color that I find already on furniture. I don't care what this is painted with, it doesn't make a hill of beans to me tonight because I'm gonna use my Jug Monkey Chucky style paint, which sticks to pretty much anything under the sun. So I don't even know what kind of paint it is under it. All I know is my paint's gonna stick to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some stripes down. So I'm not somebody who wants to really measure off my stripes, but I'll show you a quick way to cheat, okay? So I pretty much just eyeballed where the middle is, okay? If you have friends that are gonna be measuring how close your stripes are, or all that sort of stuff, you shouldn't be friends with them, okay? I'm just gonna tell you right now, you don't need friends like that. So let's just go ahead and just like do the eyeball look, straight down the middle, but from that point, what you wanna do is take your tape, and basically you can create that exact width of that stripe by just tearing off a little piece, and then just staggering it all the way across. So I'll show you what, what I mean. I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make fun of Tess. Tess, as long as you've been coming to see us, you should know we're we're always closed on Sunday. <laughs> so that's my pick on Tess moment today. So, hey Tess, yeah. your husband was here. That's yes. He knows <laughs> we know what you got for Christmas, girl. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She went to Ruthie's instead, but that's not a bad trade-off. You know what, Ruthie's Diner here in the Ligonier. Air. We have, by the way, guys, we are in like the mountains. We're in southwestern Pennsylvania, about 45 minutes from Pittsburgh. This is where we're coming live to you from right now. And when I first moved from Newfoundland, Canada, from the Atlantic provinces down here in Pennsylvania, I went to Ruthie's Diner. And I had, I thought I was ordering, because I was going through a period where I was like making sure that I was eating nothing like fried, and I was going through very, very clean eating. And I saw a grilled chicken sandwich, and I went there with a group of people, and I thought, that's probably my best Grilled option. chicken salad. Grilled chicken salad, yes. Yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't realize what's on grilled Do chicken salads around. you know what comes on grilled chicken salad down here in Pennsylvania? French fries. It blew my diet. <laughs> but boy, was I introduced uh, to something good. It was a nice surprise. It was awesome. So, yeah. Tess says, uh-uh, I used to come up on Sundays. We've never been up. We've never. Have you been that first? Wait, no, 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 no. Yeah. We used to be. Uh, yeah, we did. We've never been open on Sundays. Yeah. When we first opened up, and no, we did. Okay. We did. I'll argue with you. I later. just remembered. Yeah, when we first opened up in Ligonier, we were open Sundays. Okay, I disagree. No, we were. Okay. I just okay. remembered we were. When Matt worked on Sundays. I was home. No, we were. We were here okay, on okay. Sundays. Messing up my strikes here. One, one, <laughs> one, one. 
Okay, so we're going to go, basically, we can go ahead and take out these after, but what I want to do is have pretty much equal stripes. You know what I'm saying? So, we're almost there. We're almost there. All right, keep going. I just had to, like, think out loud to my sister. Oh, no, no, I'm not going to stop you, so, yeah. Yeah, you, you, Pittsburgh area, you order anything that's Pits, considered Pittsburgh, it's going to have fries on it. That's just the way we roll down here. Yeah. Yeah. Every area has its own food. Yeah, see, now everybody remembers being open on Sunday. Okay, of course you do. Yeah. Unless you're from an alternate universe, Mandela effect. Does that mean we had no light? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is, actually. We were open and we were saying, nobody else is open on Sunday. And I would go to the uh, ice cream shop all the time and get a milkshake. So, there you go. All right. I, I, it all, it's all coming It's all coming back to me now. All right. I think that's a Celine Dion song. Oh. All back, so back. I'm trying to find something that's not too heavy to throw at you. Really? Yes. Oh, no. All right, people. Stick with me. Thanks, Matt. You're welcome. True love. Right there. It's yes. fine. All right. So, I got my stripes down, right? Now what I can do is take off those little itty bitty pieces right there. Hey, right there. Uh, Wahoo, what's going on? Oh, yeah. Even stripes. Pretty much even, right? I like it. All right. I like it a lot. Okay. So I think I'm going to put some, leave this cream, um, or leave the cream, right? And if, obviously I can peel the stripes off in a second. But right there, I'm going to add in some of our midnight blue. I think it would be super cool to go over this in midnight blue. So now I'm going to do the very same thing for the other side, right? Again, you know what I said. If you got picky friends, you should be friends. If they're going to tell you that your lines are just like, you know, whatever, too close together, you know what? You be like, go grab some fries, bro. So, right? Anyways. So tonight, both on YouTube and on Facebook, there are two separate, one separate prize for each okay, of 20 that. banana bucks. All you have to do is... Share this video, type shared in the comments on both sides, and we will, you will be eligible to win 20 big banana bucks. Hello from not so sunny Southern California. It's always sunny Southern California. You should appreciate a little bit of cloud. So there you go. So thank you, Teresa. Anyways, I'm trying to see here. Oh yeah, uh, do 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 do. So uh, today, um, yeah. By the way, I need some frog feet, my favorite. <laughs> and it's not cooperating. Frogs being yeah. picky. And <laughs> So a little inside inside information for y'all. Oh God, I don't even know what this information is gonna be. What is it? New product labels. New product labels got done today. So you heard it here first. New year. New product. We'll be here in a couple weeks. Yeah. There you go. Hey, Adele. Old furniture. Yes. Well, we can't tell you what it is yet. No, Matt just loves making <laughs> But this will be something totally different of any other product that we have. Totally yes. Yeah. Oh, did you really have to go there? So it's uh. I'm a simple one individual. It's it's a new part of the paint line but it's going to be totally different so just let you guys know what's coming down the pipe Please tell me? no you know <laughs> you don't want to did the text for, for it so anyway so there you go yes and of course it's going to be funky because you know what well, we're not ordinary people that have figured that out yet no we're very ordinary people would spend their sunday night probably taking off these furniture right yeah. they do what netflix is not right now what are you yeah. guys doing tonight at home getting ready for the week yeah, we're Abby. You're what? Abby. Huh? Abby Normal. Oh, what? Yeah. Abby Normal. Go we're not normal people. We're not normal people. You no. know what? Being no. normal is overrated. It is. It is. You, know? you should just be weird. All Catherine, you haven't missed much yet. We're just setting up some stripes to get in. Glaze the inside to give it some new life. And now we're doing the work of this. Making it look a little bit interesting, okay? So all I've got done is my frog tape. You can use whatever size, whatever size tape you want, okay? So here's the thing. If you have a small piece of furniture that you're going to put stripes on, go with a thinner tape, all right? 
Because you don't okay. want big, fat, chunky stripes on a small piece of furniture. It's just going to feel like it overpowers it, okay? So yeah. the smaller your piece, go the thinner with your tape. You'll like your lines on a whole lot better. All right, that's going to help me. All and you right. know what? There's no measuring tape involved. And yeah. You know what? That's we don't need no measuring that tape. That makes me happy right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Hey, uh, yeah, does anybody know the score of the uh, Bears game right now? The what? The Bears game. Oh, my. It's wild card weekend. I don't even know what that means. It's wild card weekend. All right, guys, so. Samantha's been deep cleaning her house in Ooh. January. Who else has been watching that show on Netflix? What's it called? Uh, Marie Kondo? You know what I'm talking about. Say yes, but no, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the Japanese lady who <sighs> doesn't speak like English. My house. Yeah. yeah. This is a good show, a good clean show. Oh, the Eagles have retaken the league. So that's yeah. crazy. Right, so see. who scored that last touchdown for I don't Philly? I know what I'm talking about. So I should just go over here. Paint. So, anyways. Yeah. Who is? Uh, yeah. So, so nobody needs to be saying anything about. Uh, oh, Tate. Nice. Right. Nice. Midnight blue, baby. So, Midnight so. blue. I'm actually pulling for uh, the Bears, but I got Tate in my fantasy league, so. No, you don't. Right, just, just leave it. Just leave it go. I think I'm just gonna be over my own Chloe likes your butterfly fly jeggings. Thank you, girl. We're actually sold out of those ones, but you we have four other designs that are. Yes. Yep. Yep. You can get them online. Mm -hmm. Um. So if you want to grab a pair before they're gone, because we add things to our website once they're gone. They're gone. So Kimberly and okay, Kimberly and Sharon, which is the oh, uh, Japanese lady, which I find. Oh, really? Yeah, I love. Her. Yeah, just, um, I, I find it a little weird because, you know, living in Japan, I never met a Japanese woman named Marie, especially one that didn't speak English, so it, it, it throws me off a little bit, so. Good show. I binge watched it the other night, Matt was forced to watch it with me, and, um, it made me want to get up and seriously start going, what brings me joy? I went to use the restroom and... I came upstairs and I'm like, sorry, I got delayed. I was going around my house asking myself what brings me joy. And I'm like, oh. If you watch that show, you'll know what that's all about. But yeah, nothing like a little, little inspiration, right? I'm using Midnight Blue Guys right now over the cream, <laughs> making use of the cream that's already there. We are live on Facebook as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. We are in all the places. Yes. We're watching you. So, uh, we are watching you. Private eyes are watching you. Oh, they're in Phil Goyle range. All right. Beats are on the 30. <laughs> That's what they should be called, the beats. Where do I find them? Junk Monkey. Go to junkmonkeypaint.com, uh, click shop, and you'll see the uh, Junk Monkey swag there. Why is everyone saying share? Because if you share this and then type shared, you'll be eligible to get 20 big banana bucks that you're able to use in our online uh, online store to purchase items. Something you want. Maybe yes. you want two pairs of new jaggings. Yeah. Which is my paint pants. They look like beans. They're stretchy. I love these. Um, and I have them in all the styles. I love to see. I have a pair uh, that I keep that I don't get paint on. And I wear it with like long, like long shirts and dresses. Mm. You know when you get a dress and you're like, okay, that is way too short, there is no way. You saw my vlog on YouTube, you saw that I wore a pair of them to um, a Christmas party. Christmas? Yeah, absolutely. So, oh, I love that. yeah. So, just for those asking, we didn't get to open the Keto Crate live today. We, the, um, we're going to get to that probably tomorrow. Yeah. Just yeah. because we are super busy, believe it or not, on a Sunday. So. Yeah, we we're taking care of some administrative and some computer work. <coughs> oh, I wonder why, because somebody already opened the box. Yeah, yeah, I noticed. Do you have anyone selling Junk Monkey in Indiana? Go to the site, click on the retailers. We got apps from all over the country right now. Yeah, so we're right now in the process of... Uh, setting up retailers and stuff like that you want to be in get your territory yeah but the current the current retailers are on our junk monkey find a retailer page that's right 
You got it. We just started working with retailers the last few months, so it's pretty exciting. And the Junk Monkey is growing. Yep. Everybody's finding out about it. Beautiful quality paint made by a painter. Somebody who loves to crawl around on all fours and paint anything under the sun. <laughs> and, uh, you know, all that good stuff. But yeah, everybody's finding out about us. Thank you guys for sharing. When you share, you really help our small business out because... When we talk about, you know, bringing products out and things like that, or you ask us to do stuff, it all takes money. It takes a lot of money. And so what we do is we invest back into products that we can all use and share together. So when you support the uh -oh. company, you're supporting small business. Uh, we had a couple. Food on the table. Uh, not from Iowa, but you can purchase it from our website. We ship all over the country. Uh, we have limited That's shipping to Canada. Uh, so, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's how we started our business, doing um, only online. It's so funny, I got an email from a lady today, ironically talking about this, and she was like, I just love this service, I'm going to have paint delivered to my door. You know, she can watch and get all her free free tutorials online, and then have it show up in a couple we're days. Like, we're like that food place, Blue Apron. But. What's that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just your paint, and we send it to you, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, what do you think of the color I'm putting on here? Isn't this pretty? This is our midnight blue. Oh, I love it so much. It's going right over that cream. I'm using my um, full coverage brush. These are on the website. I told you I'm in love with these shortcut brushes. They give you full on coverage. Shabby chip brush when, like, so if I really wanted the cream to really come through heavily on here, I would actually use my shabby chip brush. Oh no, Parky missed another field goal. Uh oh. Was it blocked or was it just a miss? So, and. I'm glad you guys are keeping that up on me. Well, there you go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 Ye
think about it a little bit, because I have some bleeds in my cake, and that's not a pipe, pipe, but so easy to fix, because I can actually just wipe that right off right now. If you want to, before it dries, a little bit of water. Okay, everybody has their favorite team, but we're all friends here. So, there you go. <laughs> So. Love it. <laughs> so, guys, what do you think of the record? Boy, I, I started a bad thing there. Did <laughs> you have taken the record player home? Uh, what would you use it for? Roll your towels up and stuff like that? Would that be fun? All right, let me draw this real yep. fast. Uh, it's frog tape. It's a uh, painter's tape. Uh, we, just, yeah, we just like the hold of it. Yes. We've we been using it. a period of time where we... Yeah, we started using it whenever we did uh, cabinets. Yep. And so. after, guys, I've been painting now for, I was trying to figure it out. So if you, I don't realize how fast time goes. But I have been painting since, like, pretty much full time since I came to the U.S. Yep. And that was 2005, so 13 years ago. So I've been painting for 13 years, and in 13 years, you get to try a lot of products and experiment a lot. And I'm going to tell you, that frog tape stuff is the bee's knees. It's my favorite. So I'm kind of hoping KC wins this year. I'd like to see Andy Reid win. Plus, I really like Paul Mahomes, the new kid. So, funny, we have a uh, connection on the Eagles uh, to the long snapper. A friend of ours is engaged to... Uh, to uh, Levada, the long snapper on the Eagles. <laughs> Royal blue, it's called our midnight blue. So. It actually looks very light in the, uh, in this lighting, yeah. It's actually a dark navy. Yeah. But I'm gonna put something on the top. What do you guys think? Right now I'm looking towards... Maybe. Stripes and shabby florals. A crab so, stencil would look nice on that. A what? A crab stencil. Yes, it would. Yes. Yes, it would. Oh, yeah. That'd be gorgeous. What would you guys put on it? I'm standing here debating. Do I want to They're saying it? very beach. Very beach. Very beachy? Yes. So it could be anchor. So, right? Yeah. It's a heat gun. Yes. It's absolutely a heat gun. If you go to junkmonkeypaint.com and click Sonia's favorite things, you'll see this heat gun link, yep. as well as a lot of the tools that you see me use that I always make use of over and over again. Yeah. You'll see all the links there. You guys can get them too. And then you can get everything you need, and you can do the very same look, right? Yeah, we're stencils are going on. They are going on. It's funny. I would like to go back to the beach. Uh, you know, have a place at the beach, but funny thing is our son can't stand the beach. <laughs> uh, we're in the shop during the week, but we're working, uh, just handling things behind us. We are open Thursday through Saturday for business hours. We ship every single day. So if you can imagine, if you're um, taking care of shipping, yeah. For people all over the country, it gets pretty busy and pretty messy. And anchor, 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 out. anchor. Everybody's saying anchor, 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 anchor. anchor. You like that? Yeah. yeah. So then we um, we reopen Thursdays through Saturdays to our local friends. Uh, the way you become a top fan is uh, interaction, and sometimes they just pick you at random. There's no rhyme or reason at it. That's um, a Facebook thing. Yeah, that's a Facebook thing because we have people that are on here all the time, and they're top fans. And we also have people that are in here all the time and they're not top fans, so it's just kind of weird. I think they uh, they probably look at how much you comment, yeah. how much, if you're following the page, right. you subscribe to yeah. the page, and you have that interaction, right? Yeah. You talk to us. Yes. You talk to us. Yeah. So guys, true story, growing up we used to have a record player in the basement, and I used to dance to Elvis. We had Elvis records and that's how i learned elvis how long does it take your body to get into ketosis about two days two to three days tess why am i not a top fan because you're salty tess because you're salty <laughs>
Oh, uh, let me see here. Uh, no way, the beach rocks. I placed an order and got it in three days. In Texas in three days. Awesome, Donna. I'm glad you got it. Yep. Yeah, we get your paint up to you as soon as possible. Typically, it's within 24 to 48 mm -hmm. business hours. It is packed, gone out the door. <laughs> and then we ship priority. So, honestly, in that little span, it usually takes just a couple days. And it's on your doorstep. Tess said, oh, Tess said if I had feelings, they'd be hurt. <laughs> We say that all the time, black like my soul. Yes. Funny. 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 You know what, the whale would be cute too. I like the whale. I do like the whale. All right, this is an option. Yeah. This is an option, the whale. Um, yeah, I, I, I really like that stencil, but you know, the whole reason you have a whale on the soap thing is because, yeah. you know, they made soap out of the whale, so. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, you, you want the truth to do since we're being I like since truth. we're being brutally honest right now. Let's let's uh, I can't let's do handle it there. the truth. I've also got the bird silhouette, which could I think a classic bird silhouette could be cool as well. Linda, Linda, I right. always knew you did the twist. Classic bird silhouette. Everybody's saying ocean theme. All right, I'm thinking out some options. I'm gonna go for my sensibles here. Red um, lobster. Ocean theme. Red lobster. Got this one, which could be cool too. It's kind of compassy, right? Yep. I think uh, somebody said that. What compass? Yeah. See, like this is one right here. What do you think of that one? Would that work? What do you guys think? It's like I like, kind of like how big that one is too. Mm. And I think I have another another version of an anchor here. This is one of my stencil books. That link that I told you about. Anybody yep. new watching? Going, girl, what, where are you getting your stencils from? People are saying compass, compass, this compass. Is my, oh, you like Yes. This is my uh, collector stencil book, one of them. I have three. Juju, if and, you uh, go... Oops, sorry. Go to jumpmonkeypage.com, click Sonia's favorite things. You'll see my stencil book right there. 15 bucks. That's $15 I've ever spent. So, uh, right. Juju, if you go way back in our old videos, there's a couple of sewing machine tables that we paint. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so we can go classic anchor. All right. Sonia does yep. what she wants. No. If that is not the truth ever. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, man. I do what you love. I do like this one. I like how big that is, and I like how the ropes are around. Which one do you guys like, Anchor A or Anchor B? No, anchor no. A, because it's larger. I kind of like Anchor A, too. All right? And then I do like the compass, right? So... <laughs> Galen said, Well! You, Galen likes the whale? Well! Okay, you can't go wrong. The compass would be super cute. Right. You could also do, I'm giving you guys ideas, right? Then you could also do like the classic, just a, oh, I love this too. This is the classic silhouette if I put the bird. Like, but it's not place. beachy. Well, no, then it's a more whimsical. The bird makes it whimsical. <sighs> the anchor makes it more Hey, nautical. look here, look here. And this would make it more just. Look here. Look, look at me. This is not bird box. What? This is not bird box. Okay. What does that mean? That means we're doing beachy. All right, I'm gonna do beachy. <laughs> I'm so sick of anything with birds. Thank you, Netflix. Oh, is that why you said that? Yes, thank you, Netflix, for well, ruining me on birds. To bird box. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I wasn't picking up what you're laying down there. <sighs> All right, you like the bigger one there? I think I do too. Yep. Than this one, right? This is yep. smaller. Which could work for another project. All right, and then you know me. I mean, They're saying you know anchor A in the middle. Oh, boy, do they not know you. Know. Yeah, she's the offset person. I like Seagull's a bird. Nobody asked, Susan. Like Nobody asked. I kind of feel like I really like that color right. right there. You're going to hate me when I do that? Turtle. Turtle. What's that mean? Turtle, turtle. Too funny. Yeah. All right, so the reason why I love to do offset, guys, is because at the end of the day, somebody, whoever buys this, or this is in your house, you're probably going to have something on it. And if this is under it, it's going to be really gosh darn weird with your ankle, half, your anchor half covered up. Your ankle. So I like to put the design right here, so that way, whether your lamp is on here, something of, you know, important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna work out well. Now, remember, I made use of the actual cream color that was already on this piece. Sometimes I cheat. Now, do that. I let that color that somebody already put on there, but just by jazzing it up, you know, just 
makes it feel completely different. Gigi liked and Bird Box. It was a good movie. I liked Bird Box. Okay. It was a Shamalama okay. Ding Dong movie. They already did it. It was called it. The Happening. Okay, well, I'm going to go watch that tonight. No. The only one who's never seen it. All right. So the I Happening. Watched we watched The Happening. We did? Yes. Apparently, was it memorable? Oh. But I do like Bird Box. Question of the night. Yes or no to Bird Box? Yes, you saw it and loved it. No, you hated it or never saw it. Three options. Yes, loved it. No, hated it. Never saw it. Let's what, find out. What brush did you use on this piece? This one, I use this brush right here, which is on line. It is the Wooster Shortcuts. They're five ninety nine, guys. I love it. I stand behind this brush like again and again, and it is awesome. It's rubber, so if you're like me, you do a lot of painting. <laughs> It's not going to callous your hand or anything right there. It's not going to knock in the back phew, because it has a big long handle on it and it gives you full coverage. I went over a light cream with one coat of my midnight blue and you don't see any of it, any of it coming through. Bonnie right? says do a 30 days bird, bird box style blindfolded. Oh my gosh, she just came up with a new challenge. Actually, you know what? If, it, if the blindfold's like, you know, I, like, like, off, I think. yeah, I can, I can see through blindfold. I'm well, good. I'm good with shadows. It, but yeah. All right. So because I used, I made use of the cream color that's already on this piece. I'm gonna grab our quick poll. What color would you use in the Jug Mummy colors if you wanted a nice, beautiful cream? Pinky, please. So this is our beautiful off white, which will match up with the side cream. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can train your eye. Remember, you don't have to get all crazy. You know, cheese with going. My creams are not the same. They're still cream. They're gonna be fine. Alright, so I am going to use my Shappy Chip brush. A lot of people didn't like it. Didn't like it? No. no. It's kind of like, yeah. I'm sorry, I just remind it was the, the happening, but it was the trees and the happening. I'm going to go watch the happening when I get home. No, dear myself, God, no. Too late now. No, we got to finish watching now. Lucifer. We do, we have to finish watching that too. It's yep. okay. Yep. Yep. Alright, Shappy Chip brush all over. This stencil here, guys, I got in a pack. Right now we're uh, doing one product and the others will follow in the new lineup here over the next few months. So, uh, as soon as we get it in, probably in about two weeks, so we just finished up a few things today. Okay, is that any good, Lucifer? Actually, I didn't think I'd like it, but I actually like the series a lot. You did? Yes. I know, I it yes. All right. Reminds me a lot of myself. All right. <laughs> the devil. Yeah. All right, ready? Oh, guys. All right. I, I think I'm liking it. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Got some splatters because I left my antique lace there. Mm -mm -mm. No biggie. You know what I'm gonna do? Not freak out. Mm -mm -mm. Freak out. I'm just gonna paint over those little spots right there with some more of the blue. So we get that blue. Yes. Yes, it would. Oh, I like it. I like it. I'm gonna sort of move off my brush. Will you remind me off the base color you use so on pretty. the mermaid finish, please? Okay. Like when you do your, like on the bench down there? <clears throat> the mermaid finish on the bench. Look, the bench. The color, the color finish. blend. Yes. Oh, that was a Bahama Jade yellow, and I think I used a regular bit. If you go on our YouTube channel and you search in the words plank finish, uh, use the word plank. I know that will definitely bring it up for you. If you want us to be, uh, paint that one live, because you can do it too. A lot of you guys have been sending pictures <coughs> of what you did with that technique. So fun. <coughs> so fun. Oh, I just love this, guys. What do you think? I like the rope around it too. I was really trying to decide if I want, if I would go with like a shabby rose or something. To be completely honest with you, if I had done this in cream and black, <coughs> I would have definitely gone the way of like the shabby rose, more whimsical, but because I did use the midnight blue, 
um, and the cream that's here, it just makes it feel very, very right, very, very ocean. Well, well, Tammy, you can come and buy it and take it to your beach house if you want it. There you go, girl. Yep. I would ship it to you. I don't mind shipping, but I just will tell you that shipping is. You'll not pay three yeah. times as much. As yeah. you know, when, when, when. Yeah, we had people from, yeah, oh, okay. from yeah. way down there. Yep. Uh -oh. All right, I'm making sure this is dry because I will um, go ahead and do a sand before I seal. I'm probably going to distress it just a little bit. Remember the cream that's under this blue? We can go ahead and distress back with a medium rich sand pad and expose some of that color. And I'm a girl who loves the strip. Yep, Mel. North Carolina is my old stomping grounds. I saw more in North Carolina than Make most sure people it's should. It's <laughs> How long did you live in North Carolina for? Almost Today's. 10 years. Wow. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's been longer. Maybe it's been longer. Maybe it's been longer. Well, don't forget, too, when I was a teenager, my dad had the, uh, the business in Williamsburg, Virginia. And we did, uh, we did a lot of... Uh, work in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. Yes, I love it. Now I'm choosing Jacksonville. To let some of that come through. I'm going to tell you what I love about this furniture paint challenge. <clears throat> that is Midnight Blue. On this is the channel, color. it doesn't mean that it takes an entire week to paint one piece of furniture. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Onslow County. Yeah. So it's nice to be able over 30 days to see 30 pieces of furniture flip. Yeah, New Bern. Yeah, New Bern was 35 miles. Actually, I worked for 99X in New Bern before I worked for 105.9, uh, the rock station. Yep. So, yeah, I know more about Fort Bragg than I ever care to. I was a grand old man of Bragg for exercises what kind of sandpaper do you distress with love it use a sand block if you're still using sandpaper girl i'm going to take that i'm like that century into this one sand blocks are awesome you can wash them um i have a vlog on youtube where i tell you how i use them over and over again you could also if you have sandpaper right now you could also like re cover it just hold it with your hand mm -hmm. but i will tell you when you use a pad for your hand if you're doing a lot of painting your fingers yeah. yeah. Please on our website too. Uh, I think we're like oh, I think we're like three and a half four hours from Baltimore. We're we're like two and a half three hours from DC if there's no traffic. We're four hour four and a half hours from Philly. All right, I'm gonna grab my my wax brush. Mm. Banana bud. Banana 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 banana. Uh, okay, real quick. Um. 20 banana bucks for <laughs> these text messages are now coming in. 20 banana bucks for Facebook, 20 banana bucks for YouTube. All you have to do is share and type share in the comments. So I used to wash mine. It's now only a sponge. Uh, will you be using poly? If so, what kind? Oh, we'll be using our banana peel unless she decides to use uh, monkey shine wax. So anyway, so we'll, we'll do like... Um, I can't. So, I clean my sunblock with a hard bristle brush. Works great. Okay, so, <laughs> just a minute. I She uh, exited to find something. She left upstairs. So, and now I don't hear her. Maybe she left me here by myself. So, anyway, hurry up. Everybody's leaving. <laughs> Well, Everybody's leaving. I don't get to see the grand finale. Well, I'm trying to figure out my wax brush. Just oh, you're doing wax. So everybody's asking. All right, stay tuned. We're gonna be doing wax in one second. Actually, we're not because Sonia couldn't find the wax. Brush. Okay, so we're gonna be doing banana peel. I only have like four wax brushes. Yeah. Well, and I there can't you go. figure out where it went. So I think it got moved somewhere. So anyway, that's okay. You can use wax or you can use banana peel. So the nice thing is the wax just sucks in, provides a resist, and you use banana peel. Sucks in, doesn't resist, but it also forms a top layer that makes your piece completely white. I could seal this with banana peel or monkey shine, and a lot of times I, I love, love, love just the experience, the therapeutic experience.
experience just using Monkey Shine because it just revives the old wood and it just loves it. And you guys know that you love the effect that when we put it over it as well. There's just some satisfaction in it. So tell me yes if you know what I mean. So the poly, we can put all over it the same thing. Does this, this piece like need like absolutely the ultimate protection with the banana peel? No, I can get away with it with the Monkey Shine, right? I like using it. But we're going to use our banana peel today. We've done our first 30 day challenge, man. We were like one of the first, if not the first. I've never seen anybody do 30 days of furniture painting ever. Yeah, we, she was like, uh, we blazed the path, guys. We would blaze the path. That was in August of 2017. So, uh, so what I'm doing now is just going to do a quick swipe over with the banana peel. Again, it provides a nice, um, just a nice protective cover. Use the tint that's in it that disappears as a guide to be able to tell yourself what you have painted and sealed and what you haven't. All right, this dry is clear. And you're going to want to go thin coats, quick coats. And then if you notice, I'm using the same brush that I put the paint on with, the same style. But I keep one for my poly and I keep one for my paint, okay? The one that has paint on it is over here in a thing of water. So Can't you just take a brush off the shelf? Well, no. We well, have if we have brushes, yeah. we're you I'm know. Kind of girl. You yeah. know what I'm Trust so me. This girl don't want to rip open yeah, all you, new products. You're talking about a guy who used to sell his plasma for 15 bucks when he was in the <laughs> military, <laughs> so he could eat, and he was only allowed going twice a week, but he would he would go to different ones to four times a week. Yeah. So you know, trust me, waste not, want not. I will use something until it falls apart in my hands. My studio is upstairs, and I'm painting for you guys right now in the middle of my store. So uh, sometimes things get moved, especially when you just come off of um, three days of your store being open to the public and it's getting pretty busy in here. Sometimes things get moved. But I call the limit of having four wax brushes. I mean, I don't know about you, but tell me if you think that's pretty reasonable. <laughs> so we're, it's no difference. We're just going to feel poly. And it will have ultimate protection. This is what I use to seal cabinets with. Um, anything like tabletops that get a lot of use, things that get pushed and pulled on it especially. And do a couple light coats. If this was an actual tabletop, I would do this a couple times just to give it the best protection possible. In between the coats of what you're doing with your poly, you can also do a very, very light sand. So on, in sandpaper, the um, lower the grit number, the more abrasive it's going to be. So I'm using a sand pad to distress with like probably like a probably um, maybe an 80 grit sand um, grit paper, okay, or pad. But when I come to, if there's ever a time where I want to do more of a polished look, I'm going to switch up to sandpaper that's about a 120 grit. And you can do that in between your poly as well. You can also spray on our poly if you have a sprayer, um, or you can choose the brush, or you can choose to roll it on. It's really up to you. Boom. Alright, we are all done. Who is loving this? I'm, 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 lo I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's been kicking around. She's been putting it off. I've been trying to get her to paint it for three days now. I know. He's like, you should do that one. Like I told you, 30 days of painting furniture will make me clean out anything that I've been putting off getting to, right? Yes, Donna, I am, I am the lackey. I am the Renfield to her Dracula. Uh, can I use junk monkey over polyurethane? Yes, absolutely. Yep, absolutely. Can you banana peel over the wax? You don't yeah. want a banana peel over the wax. Choose one. That's yeah. All. yeah, you don't want it because that's kind. Of, they kind of fight each other, uh, and that yeah. goes for any Especially wax and poly. Especially if you just put the wax on, you put the poly. Because think about it. I just told you that the wax protects, but it's a resist. So if you're putting wax on and you're putting poly on, your wax is going to want to resist your poly. It's just doing its job. Are right? we going to do Don't the big piece out on the porch? She was going to, but it's missing pieces. And the what? That piece that's sitting I'm underneath turn the window. I'm going to maybe a, um, put flowers and stuff into it. Well, you better hurry because it's starting to... Fake. It's starting to... Uh, yes. I love it like that. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of want to open all the doors and stuff. Anyways. All right. So, uh, say hi to your mom and dad. Your hey, mom and dad. So, um, we're getting to the end. I got a couple of winners here. Yes. Who's That's ready? So Who's ready for some winners? That's pretty darn cool. All right, $20, the banana box, up for grabs, right? Uh, what we do here for our Banana Bunch family, we're going to have a thank you for showing up. Yes. Because we love you guys. Yes. Um, we're going to have a giveaway. 
All you have to do, if your name is called, Matt's going to pick somebody now on the Facebook side and the YouTube side. Banana Pill has Matt finished. All you have to do is email me at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com before midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time. Put winner, winner in the subject line, and then I will get back to you, okay? But if you don't get back to us by midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time, this offer turns into a say it with me, boop, a pumpkin, and disappears, okay? Yep. So, right, anyways, you know Kitty, just to let you know, it's a crime mystery show. It's kind of humorous. So, love, anyways. Love. Okay, I got the winners. From Facebook, the big winner tonight is Stacy Whiteman. Stacy Whiteman. And the big winner from YouTube is Mel Malott. Mel, congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. I'm looking around to see what I have. Absolutely. Here, right? You that can't put an anchor on an anchor. No, I'm just saying. That's a good idea. That's why I didn't lift it and put it out there, right? Mm -hmm. But things that I've done around that are kind of like really ocean-y. How about a bowl of seashells? Well, as a matter of fact, right. a bowl of seashells. It's <laughs> like know. magic. Shell. Glitter. Matt loves glitter, right? Yeah. That's always a fun thing. Uh, just to let you know... Winners, you need to email us by midnight Eastern Standard Time yep. at jumpmonkeypaint at gmail.com. There you Got go. It. Oh, gosh. I love this so much, so much. All right, you know what I'm saying. Put it together and bring your room together. Wouldn't this be cute with some towels rolled up in it and stuck in all the places, like your face cloth and things like that? You know, even though it's an old record player, oh, 1940s, we can still do beautiful things for it, repurpose it fill it with, you know, whatever we want to fill it with. We could find some really cute little baskets as well, maybe some like natural, you know, weave kind of baskets and put in here and that would fill up that space too. What do you think? I'm looking around. I probably have right. baskets here somewhere. Mm-hmm. Thinking mm -hmm. that could be a good idea. All right, before we go, does anybody have any questions for us as I hunt for uh, other decor? <laughs> I think that's it. That's it? That's it. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. Same bad time, same bad channel. Uh -oh. oh, is that not the purpose of what? I love She's it. out of control. Did I scare you? Yes. All right. Oh, I love that so much. Well, All right, guys. Thanks see. for being here. Jumpbookandpaint.com if you want to get the same painting supplies that I use. I love you forever. And on YouTube, don't forget yes. to subscribe and hit the buttons for notifications. All right. Tomorrow. Take the work. Be here. Be square. Bye. Yeah.